All right, this is connecting the Onkyo, and this is the TX-NR515 audio video receiver, okay? And it is 3D ready and all that good stuff, and it does the streaming on Pandora radio if you have the Ethernet cable connected in the back. All right, so, and it supports 7.2, which is uh, seven speakers, and the .2 means uh, two, you can actually have two subwoofers all right and it has zone two so you can hook up like you know outside speakers like pool patio zone two hook up your speaker switch right there in zone two and the arc is the ARC audio return channel but your TV has to support that on Samsung it's, I think it's HDMI 2 on most TVs HDMI 1 so we hooked up the front speakers we got flush mount speakers, which is there and there, the two flush mount speakers in the front. And uh, we already hooked those up. And then to find out where these other ones go, here's a little trick. I want to show you guys how to hook that up. This is the FM antenna. And this is, if you want internet radio, you have to plug in the ethernet from your router. So anyhow, to find out where your speakers go, can these come out of the wall right here. And... Uh, you put your negative right here, and then you touch it with the positive on the battery. And then right here, basically, and you hear that tapping coming out of that back left speaker, so you know where to hook it up. So you hook it up to the back surround left, it's called. Okay? And that's uh, pretty much it. So we'll hook it up surround left. And you just twist and make sure this is no wider than your thumbnail when you splice the wire off. If it's too long, it might touch each other and short stuff out. See? See how it's coming out a little bit right there? But it's not enough to touch the positive. You want to make sure you don't touch the positive. So anyway, you put the I put it in here, and then after you loosen that knob up. You go ahead and it goes right there in the side. And then, see right there? And then you tighten it down, clamp it down. And you just don't do over tighten it, just make it snug. So it doesn't, and make sure the wires don't hang out on the other side of it. So it's touching the other stuff. All right. And then, same thing goes for this one. You want to make sure right here. You want to test it, and that's how you test the speaker. So, go ahead, thanks. So, go ahead and put that right there. This is just a double A battery, any regular double A battery. So you know the speaker's working, where it's located. So we know that one's uh, surround right. Because if you're facing the TV, that's the front left, that's the front right, and the surround left is behind you. When you're, if you're sitting on, facing the TV, uh, it's on the back left of you, in the back right of you. Now that we have the front left and front right speaker connected, the back left and the back right um, connected, this is not a 7.2 system, so we, uh, we got these speakers, flush mount speakers all connected right here. Um, you have any questions? Yeah, what makes a good receiver? Oh, uh, like surround sound? Yeah. Uh, well, it's probably it's like a combination of things. It's uh, basically, it's only as good as its weakest link. Meaning that if you have good speakers and good receiver and really like crappy speaker wire or bad audio signal going into your receiver, then it's not really going to be good sound. But if everything in line is uh, good quality, then you're going to have a good system and good quality and you can hear the difference. And right here, so we got the K HD cable box, which is good. The Blu-ray player, it's good. And you got your um, CD changer for, I guess, your Zone 2 uh, pool patio speakers and whatnot. So we got all this connected. This is the cable. So that's going to be connected. It's all labeled back here, cable. And this is the Blu-ray player. And that's going to be connected to obviously BD slash DVD. And this is going out to the TV. And this is going to HDMI 2 in the back of the TV. 
like she's uh, somewhere on the side there. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. It's too flush against the wall. But anyway, take my word for it. All right, and you know, the subwoofer would be plugged in right here. And then the zone two is a speaker switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that stuff right now. And this is um, the CD changer. The CD changer will be plugged into TV slash DVD. CD, I mean. And here's the Nintendo Wii. And the Nintendo Wii will be connected right here. Game. Right there. All right, so now we got uh, the TV connected. And that TV is connected right here. So you plug it into it right there. And again, ARC is audio return channel. So if you have Netflix on your TV, you turn on activate the ARC uh, feature on your TV and your receiver and you'll get that surround sound coming out of the TV. That just eliminates the optic the optic in coming out the audio out on your TV going into your receiver. If that makes any sense, it might not. Just post a comment below and I'll answer your question. And then this is the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray player gets plugged in here. And then this right here is the cable box. And that get plugged in right there. And that's where the cable box plugged in. And there's a Nintendo Wii again. And then this is the CD player, which is not long enough. So we're going to have to get a longer cable. And this hooks up to the speech speaker switch because of the pool patio and bedroom speakers. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna configure the rest of it, and we're gonna do an auto calibration so it's all all the speakers are balanced. 